got to watch your head through here, that's for sure. Oh, that's my head. Tunnel's going off in all directions. Oh, mate. good thing I've got the hard hat on. making good use of the hard hat at the moment. I'm doing a self-guided tour of the old times mine. It's just where I'm staying. So I'll do a bit of a video of uh, walking around. First um, is some opal, opal seam there. They discovered while digging this out. A backfilled shaft that was unused. Oh. This is the main cabin here. There's this shafts going off in all directions from here. You wouldn't want to suffer from claustrophobia. And if you look up, that's how they climb down. Make little footholds in, in the side here. Handholds, footholds to climb up and down. Sort of wonder how much uh, value an opal is left here. I've just done a tour of the old timers mine. It's definitely well worth it. There's um, the mine and there's also living quarters there and a museum, so it's not just a mine. There's definitely plenty to see. So this is where I'm staying. Now working on it at the moment, um, working towards graveling it. So it was very dusty yesterday, but we've had a bit of rain, so it has settled the dust. They are still uh, working on this, so. I'll be leveling a section over to the right hand side and um, graveling it so it's um, a bit more user friendly shall we say. We've got um, this guy here operating apparently all day yesterday and today. So creating just a little bit more dust. Not that we need that but um, yeah, here he goes. Rubbish in the dirt he's putting there, this uh, old tyres and it's pipe and all sorts of stuff. So. The rain has stopped, so that's good. Wasn't too much, just enough to settle the dust. But there's um, yeah, plenty of space here. It is um, maximum of uh, 72 hours, so three, three days stay. Uh, so it's just a donation camp, so just donate him at the office there. Oh, the sun has come out. Uh, this is the jeweler's shop noodling area. So you can come in here, have a bit of a dig. I wish you luck. There's um, quite a big area. Up on this Malakip and just show you a bit. Yeah, this has been all dumped here from the mines. So there could be opal in it. Just uh, gotta be lucky, I guess. 
and there's a lot of dirt here, so a <laughs> lot to go through. A few dark clouds over that way, but it stopped raining at the moment, the sun came up. Sometimes after a bit of rain, you'll be able to see the colours better if the sun comes up. So there you go, come here and have a little noodle, see if you can find your fortune in opals. So many people recommended to go to John's Pizza when you're in Cooper Beatty. So I thought I'd better give it a go. I went for something a bit exotic. It's a um, the coat of arms. They were out of emu though. So it's got uh, smoked kangaroo, mapwurst, cranberry, camembert cheese, and spinach. But I thought I'd eat half of it. Well, definitely more like three quarters. So it was pretty good. I give it a eight or nine out of ten. Um, something is maybe not everyone would like eating kangaroo, but um, yeah, I thought it was pretty tasty. If you're in uh, Kuvidi, go and enjoy. I'm here at the Opal Cave. I'm just going to have a bit of a, a film around and uh, walk in there and um, just show you what's what there is to see here. We've got this fella standing guard here. And we'll go inside and have a little look around. I don't think the bread on the table would be much good. All the comforts of home. I'm on top of the opal cave and just gonna do a pan around Kubapedi. I reckon you can see most of the town from here. I'll see the caravan shortly, just come into view there against the fence.
Good morning. It's a bit of a cold, grey day here in Cooper Pedy. I'm thinking it's a, a, maybe a day to get up and clean my solar panels because I'm not getting a lot of solar in. And before I head north to the Painted Desert, I really need to put my stone stomper on. Uh, well, it's still cold and cloudy and a bit windy here. Um, but I'm about to uh, start, so I've got everything ready. I've put the um, caravan on a big angle, um, so the front is up, so I can uh, work on it a bit better. I think I've just got to get a mat down there and and do it. I have to take off the stone guard here, and whether I take the mud flaps off or cut them down, I'll, I'll work that out later as I go. But yeah, first step. Clean my solar panels and uh, hope the weather gets a little bit warmer and that it doesn't rain, I guess. At least it's not too dusty here today. Anyway, better get to it. So in my preparation, I've taken the stone guard off. Not sure what I'm going to do about the mud flaps yet, but I'll get the stone stomper on and then work that out. Um, I did go up and clean the solar panels. So I've measured this out. And I do have to put the the brackets right here. Unfortunately, like I would have um, liked them up higher or coming out further. Um, but obviously, when it was measured, it was measured to the edge here, not to the. It would have been better having longer brackets out to here to give me that extra width. But anyway, that's where they got to go. So I'll get those on shortly i'm going to go inside and warm up a bit it's freezing out here and um yeah just screw those on and then i'm done so it shouldn't take uh too long to do that number one done that was a bit uh harder steel than i was expecting so I've got the stone stomper attached. I've got uh, the tube across here, which is a, a bit bent, and um, had to just cut this piece off. I'm going to try wrapping that tape around the end of it just to stop it sliding. I've uh, got the brackets on here, so they're all done up with a pair of pliers. So only thing I would have preferred if we'd measured out to the edge here would have given me a couple inches extra protection on each side, but that was as far as the stone stomper came across. So, you know, it's pretty pretty tight there. So that's the, the, the only thing so far that um, would have changed. Um, my next step is taking these mud flaps off. They're just uh, not going to work with the um, stone stomper. So just uh, take these out. Should just take a couple of minutes. So. I've just been looking underneath here uh, to see if I can put the stone uh, mud flaps maybe to protect that um, air tank. Well, job's done. So I'll take a photo tomorrow with it hooked up to the car and should all be good. Then I've got the um, Stone guard back on, minus the mud flaps. It should add that extra bit of protection. I shouldn't get the, um, see some caravans with stone stones and still got mud up the side of the van. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I'll go and pack up now. I think I'm the only one here without a beanie on. So, uh, see you later.